I'm a veteran uh, of the United States Navy. Um, I actually got into this field um, by observing what the uh, Navy divers uh, did. I worked in something totally unrelated to this, so, but I had a chance just to come in contact with them. So it was just a chance for me to uh, see what they did and I was interested in it. So after about 15 years in the Navy, I went to a uh, school uh, for commercial diving. And commercial diving uh, encompasses underwater welding and non-destructive testing. Uh, so after graduating from that school, uh, I spent uh, seven years on various oil platforms in and around Southern California and uh, the state of Alaska. So I've done warm water diving and cold water diving. After uh, seven years uh, as a commercial diver, I went to work for a company in Alaska called Arctic Slope, Slope Regional Corporation. Um, they do, they have oil fields uh, in the northernmost part of Alaska. So I, I worked uh, doing various structural welding, pipe welding uh, jobs until I eventually landed a position with uh, Alaska Pipeline. So that's, uh, that sums up uh, my experience. So I've, I've actually, just to put a timeline on this, I've actually been doing this uh, since uh, 1996, up until now. My, my teaching experience actually comes from uh, the University of Alaska, Anchorage. Um, I actually taught there, uh, got into the teaching profession uh, through that. I took uh, some education classes, uh, I'm a degreed uh, mechanical engineer and um, uh, I have a degree in uh, material science. Uh, they acquire sheet metal skills, they acquire um, structural welding skills, uh, they acquire uh, pipe welding skills. Uh, and in, in, the, in between all that, they're learning pipe fitting, uh, blueprint reading. There are seven different credentials that a student can get here. Uh, you can get a welding credential in structural welding using the shielded metal arc uh, welding process. Uh, flux core arc welding process, qualifications in gas metal arc, uh, sheet metal uh, welding, uh, two uh, pipe welding uh, certifications, and we have a certification for gas tungsten arc in stainless steel. Also, uh, the student is exposed to the three major materials that uh, welders work with in the industry, which is uh, carbon steel, stainless steel, and aluminum. So they're important because it actually says, if you can do it here, you can do it somewhere else. So, you know, those qualifications can kind of speak volumes for somebody uh, trying to enter the field. Uh, well, the greatest thing to me about the program is the individualized instruction. I mean, classes are kept um, reasonable, you know, just for um, uh, that that caveat, you know, that. You know, I can work with uh, an individual student and have time uh, to really sit down with them and develop their skills.
So a typical day in the lab uh, consists of uh, going over the various things uh, hands-on that we would uh, talk about in the classroom. Uh, classroom lectures, I, I, I keep them to an hour in length and being as though a, a typical day is six hours here, so one hour lecture and five hours of lab time. So basically we're going over things that we have gone over in the lecture uh, and everything in the lab is hands-on. Everything from cutting metal to shaping metal uh, to welding it. So. so leaving the lab basically just says you have graduated and you are going into uh, you are going into the field. You are going into the field as an entry-level worker. Uh, or entry-level welder, so to speak. Um, you do have skills to do a variety of jobs, but our field, this, the welding field, uh, is a field that, that you really have to prove yourself. You really have to uh, uh, prove your metal. Usually students, when they uh, uh, graduate from here, they're making $16 an hour, some places $17 an hour. I would say one of the most uh, important qualities would be uh, a person that is not afraid of hard work, uh, someone that is uh, more or less a go-getter that can you know, suit up and show up on a daily basis. Uh, suit up and show up on time on a daily basis. So uh, if, you, if you can definitely uh, be here every day and apply yourself and work hard, uh, we can take you, we, we can definitely take you the rest of the way. He was, he was a very interesting, person to me as someone that didn't feel that a formal uh, four-year degree really was for him. So he came, uh, he came to, the, to the school, you know, with the open mind. He worked hard. He uh, pretty much, he got every credential uh, that we offered. And he went to work in the industry, but the thing that was really interesting with him is that he never did really feel that he was a school person. Well, going here really taught him something different because while he was working at his profession, he went back to school and he obtained a four-year degree. And he was uh, working for a company as their uh, lead fabricator and upon receiving his uh, degree in mechanical engineering, he is now designing uh, the product for the company that he works for that he was actually welding and making for them. So I thought that was uh, pretty interesting that someone, you know, that felt that, you know, they just weren't cut out for the uh, traditional school or traditional college education, got an education from here, took it out into uh, <clears throat> uh, the uh, job world, then decided that, you know, he could uh, take a challenging um, education field, make something of it, and actually be promoted within his company. If you're interested in the program, you can actually go on our website, create an account, and once you create that account, uh, there is a uh, getting started pamphlet, how to get started. Uh, if you download that pamphlet or view that pamphlet, uh, it gives you step by step uh, the steps to take, you know, to actually get started 
and be enrolled in the program here. So 